Are you struggling with changing the owner of the public schema in your Google Cloud SQL Postgres database? You're not alone. This is a common issue many users face, and today we're gonna to tackle it together. I completely understand how frustrating it can be when you create a database, only to find that the ownership is locked down by default. It can feel like you're hitting a wall, especially when you just want to manage your own database. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. A user asked, why can't I change the owner of the public schema in my Google Cloud SQL Postgres database? They found that the default owner is set to Cloud's SQL admin and attempts to change it resulted in errors. Sound familiar? Let's dive into this. So what's going on here? When you create a database in Google Cloud SQL, it automatically assigns the owner of the public schema to Cloud SQL admin. This is a built-in security feature, but it can be quite limiting if you want to customize your database permissions. Stick around because at the end of this video, I'll share a workaround that can help you manage your database ownership more effectively. To change the owner of the public schema in a PostgreSQL database created via the Google Console, the user first needs to connect to the database using a PostgreSQL client like PSQL. Next, the user should create a new role that will own the public schema. This can be done by executing a command to create a new user with the desired privileges. After creating the new role, the user needs to change the ownership of the public schema. However, since the user cannot directly change the owner from Cloud SQL Admin, they should use the new role to create a new schema. Finally, the user can migrate any necessary objects from the public schema to the new schema. This ensures that the new user has access to the required data without using the default public schema. By following these steps, the user can effectively manage schema ownership and permissions in their PostgreSQL database created via the Google Console. Fun fact, did you know that the first version of PostgreSQL was released in 1989 it has come a long way since then, but some quirks still remain. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. One user suggests bypassing the Google Cloud web interface and using the command line instead. When creating a database through the command line, it assigns ownership to Cloud SQL's super user, similar to the GUI. However, if you create a user via the command line, you can alter the database ownership using SQL commands. They recommend creating your instance, setting the password for the Postgres user, and then using PSQL to manage everything you need. That's it for that response. Let's explore another one. An alternative approach shared by another user suggests that when you create a database using the Google Cloud Console, it defaults to using template one, which is owned by Cloud SQL super user. To change the ownership of the public schema, you can create your database using a SQL command instead. This way, the public schema will be owned by CloudScale SuperUser, allowing you to alter it with the default Postgres user or other users created through the GUI. That's the end of that answer. Let's see another perspective. One user suggests a straightforward approach to change the owner of the public schema. First, connect to your database as the owner user, like my new user. Then change the database owner to Postgres using the command alter database my db owner to Postgres. After that, you can change the public schema owner with alter schema public owner to Postgres. Lastly, to remove my new user from the Cloud School super user group, use revoke Cloud School super user from my new user. Here's a quick tip. Always plan your schema and user roles before creating them in the Google Cloud Console. This can save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. You now know how to manage schema ownership in your Google Cloud SQL Postgres database. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and tricks. And remember, every challenge is just an opportunity to learn.